Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Meme Mayhem run in today there has been a new event and the event, which by the way it's the end of the week here but the event is, we start with the Dragon Slayer and what does this thing do? First of all we get a rock, whatever, and your ultimate can crit, whatever, crit chance, whatever we can roll Divine Perks so that means I'm gonna try to get the Divine Perks now I did roll a bunch of times to see what they are every single character has the same Divine Perks it's these two, keyboard and mouse and what they do, I'm gonna spoil here it is what it is, I know a lot of people want to see the action, but I'm gonna say it right away. Mouse, all normal attacks have a 50% chance to launch a duplicate. Keyboard, gain 25 strength. Very boring. But the thing is, this is keyboard and mouse. And we already know for a fact that one of the combo relics is the wishes, right? Uh, where's the wish? I'm not even seeing it. Uh, why am I blind? Editor's gonna be like, it's here, bro. It's right here. Okay, I cannot see. There is a relic that says three wishes. If you get three genies, you get like a wish relic. So I'm gonna assume that there is also a secret relic that says get the mouse and the keyboard. So today we're gonna try to get both of them. Uh, it might get one run. I mean, the first run's gonna be my first attempt and then the second run's gonna be literally the winning attempt. If it's the first, if the first attempt is the winning attempt, I guess when I get it, then uh, so be it. But I'm gonna start rolling here until I start at least with the mouse or the keyboard. I don't really care with which of the two I start. And uh, then I'm gonna start the run with at least one of them so that in the run itself I might find the second one. So I'm gonna start restarting here a bunch of runs until I get the run where I start with it. As a character, I have the priest. The priest has pretty much every single emoji of the game. And um, yeah, if you don't know what the priest does, yeah, that's it. He just has all the emoji of the game. He has a brain, he has a milk which heals you, ninja steals emojis, ice makes the opponent slower, vampire uh, gets gives us max life. Very, very simple character. I'm just explaining for anybody that doesn't know. And also flex gives us damage. I don't know. Should I still be explaining? Are there still people that are watching this for the first time and actually are like, you know what? Yeah, I didn't know what they do and now I know. Or um, is it only the people uh, that have watched? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna come back when I get the starting divine relic here. So we can get the run going uh, to maybe get the second one. So off we go. Okay, here we go. So this took, I think, six or seven restarts. We found the mouse, which is the good of the two, because honestly, 25 strength is whatever. I mean, we have 29 strength, so it's insane, but you know, still. So all normal attacks have a 50% chance to launch a duplicate, which counts literally everything, which means I should either go with ninja or with milk. I'm gonna see if the ninja in itself actually even does that effect. Because if the ninja in itself can shoot out two ninjas, the ninja build is a go. Otherwise, we're gonna most likely go with a milk heal build. I both deal. Now, theoretically, this should be an easy run because I just start with an insane relic, right? 80% crit chance, one rock, and all this can crit. Really strong. Money spending gives you strength. That's good. I'm gonna go with the attack speed, though. That combos with getting multiple emojis flying. I want to just see two ninjas fly off. If I can just see two ninjas fly off, that is gonna be good enough for me to go for a ninja build. So I might only just crit there. Very nice, very easy. Could be nice. I found the vampire steals life. I'm definitely gonna go with that. We have a vampire, so vampires being better is definitely a go. I can go heal for a 10 on dodge, or the crit one is the first boss. The nope, it's not, so there is no chance going for that. I have a crit damage. Crit damage actually works for us. Forget healing on dodge. We're gonna go crit damage because I have crit chance. So might as well increase that. Still only one ninja. It's 50% chance, so until the end of the round, we will know if ninja can duplicate itself. Uh, the rest are definitely duplicating, I would assume, because that's what the moss is supposed to be doing. Oh, Ninja has a 30% chance to steal an extra emoji. Who heal is better? Mm, pro Thefty. <laughs> I mean, might as well. That is a good, uh, decent DPS drop, but now I'm not really sure if I'm gonna ever see two ninjas, is the thing. I mean, I think it's gonna be one ninja stealing twice, and otherwise it's gonna be two ninjas. Maybe ninja build is a go, although healing is what I would like to do. Uh, vampires shoot brains. Trash Dog does damage. You know what? Trash Dog does damage brings us into a ninja build. This is damage though. We're gonna go Trash Dog does damage. And every time we Trash Talk, we do an R20 damage. Trash Dog scales even faster. That's really, really, really good. This early we found it. Crit chance. Uh, I think Trash Dog can crit chance. I think everything can crit. Or we go anti vulnerable. I'm gonna go with anti vulnerable and also get the combo going. So we go at un minus 10 vulnerable and 77 crit damage. That means we're not gonna get vulnerable throughout this game. Straight up. Simple and clean. Uh, we don't have any way of trash talking right now, by the way. So we only have invested into trash talks do damage. That's it. Opponent has 10 strength, therefore they do 10 damage with their attacks. And I have one armor, so I'm taking 9. I'm also healing. Uh, there should be a win here. That was a crit, 1,500 damage there. Nice. My crit damage, of course, is really good. And 10% crit chance is nice too. Okay, we got another your ult is going crit, and you have more choices. Obviously, we're going to go with you have more choices. We're trying to get the double perk run. Hopefully, we're going to find keyboard and mouse. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we found it. I mean, almost a ninja. 
or a vampire which steal more life. I mean, honestly, almost the ninja is insane, uh, with ninjas having a higher chance to steal. But I think I should go with a vampire because I have a vampire steal more. Let's go with another vampire which feels so weak. But it's okay, I guess. I mean, I'm trying to go into the trash talk build. The trash talk build is not only ninjas. It's also a lot of other things. When you heal or when you shoot an emoji, there are a lot of choices of getting the trash talk build going. It's not only the ninja build. He says, well, the ninja build is here. Yeah, or just the rock for damage. No, I'm gonna go with ninja build. Could have maybe took the five. I could have had the second ninja right now. It's okay. The thing with the ninja is it's a bit slow. What are the bosses, by the way? Ninja is good against Chad. It's not against this guy and also not against this guy. We might even die this run. I'm not really sure about right now. Vampire is bringing us a lot of Mike's life, which is good. We also have plexes. We have a lot of things going for us. But we're gonna see. Oh, we found it. Unbelievable. It was the first try attempt instant success. Let's see what the combo does. If there is a combo, which I think there should be. There is not. What? You get the keyboard and mouse and they don't even combo? So you're telling me three genies combo but keyboard and mouse doesn't combo? This was extremely disappointing. Extremely disappointing. Crit a chance but lose vulnerable uh, again. I mean, I'm not gonna get the vulnerable no matter what. So I guess we're gonna go with the crits because my ultis can crit anyway. So you're telling me keyboard and mouse doesn't combo? Well, it's gonna be a run. Yeah, this is gonna be just a one run run then because... Yeah, there, there is no reason for us to do this twice. Wow, I mean, in the beginning of the video, I was like, okay, maybe you, well, let's get some attack speed, some percent, and collect some percent. Ultis give you ultis. I'm gonna go attack speed and luck. In the beginning of my video, I was like, okay, I'm gonna spoil things for people that maybe want to see it mid run, which I'm gonna showcase that which both of them do. But at least maybe we're gonna later get the combo. I got the combo early. Wow, I guess everybody's already gone at this point. Healing or brains get, do income damage. Uh, I guess more healing. I guess more healing. I think late game is better for us. More healing. Ult, uh, healing percentage based. Dodging. Ultis heal you. Ultis shoot everything. I would say healing and ultis heal you. Although I don't really have any ulti regen or anything. Percentage based regen I would say is the best. Let's get percentage based regen and healing. More dodge which blocks uh, auto attack damage. Now let's go healing. Auto attack damage should not really be an issue. Now this guy in general is an issue because if I do low damage, I'm not doing low damage though, I'm doing more and more damage. No, he should not be an issue for us. Yep, that crit of 1500 on the ultimate, he's gone. One more ultimate, oh we got him. We are very powerful, my ultis do 600 damage plus the crits. Uh, this guy gives us uh, every 400 armor we block, we gain 10 damage, we don't really need that, I don't even have armor honestly. Uh, heal after 6 seconds, or startup happens every every 6 seconds. I mean, I don't have any startup relic. So, is the ninja startup? No, it's just steal random. No, we're gonna go after 6 seconds, heal a 1000. So, we're gonna go anti-burst. He ultis heal us. Just more damage, or ultis gives attack speed. I mean, at this point, might as well go with just more damage. We have 54 strength. We're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, let's just go with just more damage. Just another rock. 54 strength. With a rock from the opponent, plus whatever rocks we have. I mean, look how much damage we're doing right here. Before we even shoot a single ulti, the opponent's dead from just attacks. This is just the basic attack build. Uh, ulti's trash talk, or ninja's trash talk even more. I'm gonna go ninja's trash talk even more. Because I already have a very powerful trash talk build. So right now, the ninja's gonna trash talk twice. It got two emojis. Did that twice? Uh, four times? That's not four times. But they do crit. As, far as I'm seeing, so uh, I should just get even more of those armor blocks. Uh, ultis, I mean, I have one armor, so that's 10 multi block, insanely useless. Let's go another vampire. So we have three vampires, a bunch of my um, milk, two flexes, but lose me on max health. That's actually really good. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. I have a lot of max health because of ninjas anyway. The two flexes are really good because let's not forget, I have 50% chance to duplicate whatever I'm using anyway. They were scaling damage pretty fast, and opponent's toast. We are really good, we are really powerful, but I think my most strength is coming from the fact that I straight up just begin with your ultis can crit a rock and 8% crit chance. Or armor or ultis trash talk, or just crit damage. I mean just crit damage man. Just crit damage. Crit damage increases all the damage we do in general, so might as well go with that. And if I ulti and crit them, it's gonna be like a million damage anyway. 700 and kaboom, oh I didn't crit. I should increase my crit chance if possible, that's pretty important. 
Hey, we got another ninja trash talk. The moment I get a second ninja, that's gonna make a difference. There was actually there was vampire shoot brains. That was a mistake on my end. Uh, luck, which is increase my crit chance. I would like to get luck, which is increase my crit chance, honestly. And uh, brains so opponents don't really play or max health. I would say brains so opponents don't really play. It's gonna help us specifically in this fight because he only ulties you. So the more brains we have, the less damage we're gonna be taking here. And of course, I'm flexing regardless. So um, he's gonna start taking more and more damage from the flexes. And at this point, he can't even damage us. Look at my life. You're going up and up and up and up. It felt like we had more ulti gain, but no. Yeah, he, he can't really kill us. And I'm healing. Like, I have so much strength. He's gone. Easy enough. Yeah, very easy. Very easy. I mean, it makes sense. Divine relics, right? 25% attack speed is really good. 8 armor is also really good. Um, I mean, attack speed combos with everything here. And attack speed on this specific character gives you healing. So why would I get armor if I can get healing anyway? Right? Not really sure if that makes sense. I will have flexes. Oh, everything plays into that. Trash talk does even more scaling damage, or get your first, your second ninja, and even more trash talks. Uh, I'm gonna say trash talk scales even crazier because that's multiplicative in comparison to the. I guess that's exponential. I would say. I mean, the other one is also exponential because you get more. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. I think this is harder to find than more ninjas. Uh, get our heal trash talk on ultimate. Brains burn more. Let's get another heal. With three flexes, I can definitely outscale the opponents. Definitely outscaling is my strength. I am dying though. He ulti us and we healed after six seconds. Yeah, as long as I can survive, we're gonna win. And the more the fights last, we're gonna get more vampires. Two stones. Man, this is the most basic build ever. <laughs> Healing with milk and stone throw. Um, Jet 7 strength. This is not the iPhone thing. This is 4 strength and 33 energy regen. Um, I'm gonna say get 7 strength. And maybe get the phone thing, which I've never, ever, ever gotten. Might as well try that. Stole the rock, and he's gone. I still have not seen two ninjas fly over there. I think ninjas do not count as emojis themselves. Nice, I got another ninja anyway. When sending trash talk terms and chance to send an extra one, that could have comboed into comboing. I mean, this is comboing into comboing. Uh, let's get this. I'm literally avoiding the one thing I really need, which is another ninja hat. Why I stole two emojis, very nice. One, two, and he's gone. This is, by the way, exponentially 60, 120, 180, etc, etc. We got another vampire. Very nice. We get non milk, we got uh, stones do more damage. I think stones do more damage is definitely a choice. 12 strength and 5 vulnerable. The 5 vulnerable I'm not even gonna get, so this is definitely a yes. 25 income, this is gonna pay for itself literally on the next shop, and then the shop after that's gonna give us money, but I don't have enough money for development. I'm gonna go stones, get 33% more strength scaling, because I am a stones build anyway. Is this guy even gonna be able- I stole nothing. We got nothing. We got a poo. Is this guy even gonna survive 240 trash talk damage? I ulti, they ulti us, and they slapped us and we ulti them, and now they're scaling, and they're gone. That's how that fight went. Very easy, very simple. And we got scaling luck after each, each fight. This is 100% luck gain throughout the run here. This is, in my opinion, the best relic in the game. If you get this as your first relic, you end the game with 300. 1% chance to send trash knock in a magazine. In magazine when an emoji is launched. All of these emojis have a chance to shoot out 1% chance to trash talk or just get ninjas. Well, we're gonna go with 100% chance trash talk. But Sift, come on, man! The ninja build, no, no, no. We have emojis, we're sending out trash talks randomly. Let's go. They're gone. I didn't. I don't think I sent a single one. Uh, terms of attack speed or just your ultis give you attack speed. I would say let's get a brain. It's another emoji, another chance to shoot on the trash talk for my character. Oh, we're dying. Oh, we actually lost most likely. Oh, no, we heal after a little bit and we actually survived. Very nice. Oh, the emojis themselves send the trash talks. That's why I'm not seeing them done here. Will this heal us? Crit chance. That's going to be 7% crit chance, plus the luck It's going to be about 15-18% crit chance. We're going to go with that. I'm dying, by the way. Even more crit chance. A bunch of life, but don't get the vulnerability. I'm going to still, uh, yeah, 700 max life and don't get the vulnerability. Or crit chance. This is not 4%. This is about 8%. I would say as long as I survive. I'm not getting the vulnerable. We continue with that idea. The minus 10 vulnerable here is carrying us. We are still dying. And trash talks. And we almost lost, but we won. Man, we're weak. <laughs> and now 25% keyboard strength. Let's go. I have two keyboards and one mouse. And we're still not gonna win. I mean, it seems like we are winning. We are doing a lot of damage, man. We have a lot of strength. We have a lot of rocks. 
50 health after each fight, that's not that much. I think I'm gonna get the 10% crit chance. Once again, we're gonna have 100 lex, so that's 10%. I already have a bunch of crit damage, might as well go with this. Nice, I want the 40%. Uh, let's choose more luck, that's gonna give us more crit chance. Yeah, let's choose more luck. It's gonna give us a lot of crit chance here, 54 at this point. And let's go. It's the stone that, that kills you from thorns. Are we gonna die before this? No, it's not, because we have the same amount of life and I'm doing more than 99 damage per hit. This thing just has a bunch of thorns. This is insane, by the way. Getting this is really good, but I'm gonna go with, of course, not. Getting 99 thorns is really good at destroying enemies. Another crit chance and your ultis can crit. Or your first ulti does insane damage. We're gonna go with my first ulti does insane damage. And then after I ulti, I no longer have energy regen. I mean, I go minus 80. I always avoid that, but might as well. Opponents don't really ulti or heal even more. I'm gonna say opponents don't really ulti. I would like to avoid opponents being able to scale ulti. We're dying, and we died. Nice, why did we die? Because they have spikes. As simple as that. Is there any chance we're gonna win this? I'm gonna try to get more healing, in case we somehow avoid the spikes. That's not gonna really save us, though. Well, I mean, it went better, but I think this is unwinnable. No armor, no dice, man. You don't have armor, you don't win in this game. Roll M, get armor, maybe? Nope. Healing heals me 10 more. That's gonna make a huge difference. We have a lot of healing. That's like I got two heals. Previously, I was I got one heal. Okay, it's un it's unbeatable. We cannot win. <laughs> very, very nice. And why are we losing? Because I mean, because I don't have armor is the answer, straight up. I don't have the armor, and without armor, you cannot really win in this game. 300 max life, maybe that makes a difference, although 10 healing I think gives us more than 300 life. But let's maybe try the 300 life in case that makes a difference, but I don't really think it does. Yeah, it's, uh, it's unmillable. Very nice. So, I guess that's the video. I mean, might as well just showcase some... I don't know what I should showcase here at the end, honestly, because I just wanted to showcase you the Divine Relics, and that's pretty much it. Which is very disappointing in general. How long are we on this video here? This is a 15 minute video. This is a joke. Very disappointing on myself here. I don't enjoy that character, man. I really, I, 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 this character seems boring to me and I went a little bit all over the place. Now I do love some specific characters like this guy and this guy. I played a bit too much with those. So maybe I should just do a run on a modded character and then that. Uh, the thing with the challenge is you cannot change your starting character. So that's also pretty bad. Uh, you know what, let's do the trash talk build that I tried to do, at least in normal run without the starting relic. Why would I do that though? Might as well go with the starting relic, am I right? Yeah, let's actually abandon this. No, 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 I'm gonna actually play in the harder difficulty. So let's go pro blue fey here. Let's start with uh, some trash talk related things. Every healing gives you trash talk and then full on go with the healing build. Uh, could be a thing. Um, yeah, let's go with every healing gives you trash talk. We'll just scale the healing and then see where we go with that. I could also do that. This is 150 healing, by the way. Otherwise, the alternative is just start getting trash talk damage. Which would be so stupid, by the way, to use my thing. Healing trash talk or just healing. Let's go with a just straight up simple healing build. Now nah, we're gonna go... Yeah, let's go straight up healing build and let's hope for the best. And the idea here is I want to do a trash talk build to defeat the dev with it. That's my idea here. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. At least that's my idea here. And we're going to start scaling healing like crazy, of course. Uh, at level 30, we're going to have 150 healing regen. And then hopefully we're going to find that uh, every 666 healing you should have uh, trash talk. If we don't find it, then the build literally doesn't exist. Uh, I don't enjoy any of these. These are very weak. Very weak. Energy regen is a maybe. I mean, I can do an energy regen for sure because there is energy uh, ultis shoot trash talks out. I don't have trash talk damage right now. It's, uh, the idea is I want to do a trash talk build against the dev. That's what I'm gonna go for. Maybe the previous one. I, I mean, no, 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 no. You know what? The ninjas take like five years to go over there and steal. It doesn't matter that even if I did a trash talk build fully, the opponent still killed me too fast. Armor is insane. Yeah, we're gonna get this. Ultis do less damage to your arm based on your armor. Uh, freeze is good. Yeah, we're gonna get the freeze. Now I have two freezes, and also this sets us up of getting some kind of upgraded relic if I'm a bit lucky. Especially the rice ball is decent. Um, yeah, now I just want to find a bunch of those. Whenever you trash talk, you do damage type of relics. Let's see how we're gonna do a run here with the priest. Uh, ultimate damage 3%. I mean, we're doing we're going towards an ultimate build right now, so might as well go with this. I have some energy regen here, and then maybe I'm gonna line up getting the rice ball. Because most of the time when you find some things, you also find other things. It seems like the game is made in a way where things are just lining up so you can get 
everything rolling very luckily. We'll just give 150 energy. I mean, I think we're going for an ultimate build. I see the five ninja points. I'm gonna go with an ultimate build. Let's go towards an ultimate build. Okay, 400 coins, 401. This is... The game is literally spitting in your face. Uh, let's go with 7 luck and 7 attack speed, I would say. Or anti-vulnerable. Um, or 2 ice, of course. No, I'm gonna go 7 attack speed, 7 luck. The fact that I literally was missing one coin from the 400 er is such a feel-bad mechanic. I mean, feel-bad was also losing the first one with literally 3 divine relics. That, that's I have to say that I think divine relics are not really that powerful. Divine perks. Divine perks. Like, 25 strength is very easily gained in so many ways. 15% chance to shoot out a duplicate emoji. Yeah, that's good, maybe, but uh, I don't know, man. I would I would uh, I would prefer the divine relics to be something very awesome. So emergency perks are better or your ultimate does a bunch of damage whether you lose energy. No, I want to be spamming a bunch of ultimates, so we're going to go with emergency perks are better. So complete the useless perk here. And although I will start going into emergency now if I find them. Emergency attack speed might as well I would say. So that's 40% attack speed at low life. That means more flexes, that means more healing, that means more ice throwing. Uh, so theoretically we got a good 40% attack speed boost here, which should actually help us out one way or another. We get more healing. I'm full on going for that now. No, not full on. 50 max life every fight, that's nice. That's gonna also help us with emergency perks lasting a bit longer. She killed us. I think I have lost a lot of runs from her. I think she's the just, I do a bunch of damage type of build. Punch her. And now we get the 40% attack speed. And uh, we almost died once again. She's just a damn. She's the defense check. I need armor. I need armor scaling or armor. Eight armor uh, emergency. I mean, this is a lot of life, but this is 16 armor. And if I combo 16 armor with 40% uh, attack speed, I mean, I should go into the emergency idea. This once again is a lot of life. This is like 1,200 life right here. I'm gonna go with the 16 armor. I think that's more powerful. Uh, lose six vulnerable and for armor. Uh, 30 ultimate damage or just strength scaling. This is gonna give us one cockroach, which is gonna become. Uh, let me actually think about this. 2 at 10, 4 at uh, 15, 8 at 20, 16 at 25, and 32 at uh, the end of the game. So this is 10 strength at the end of the game with 3D ultimate. We're gonna go through the ultimate damage. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. I'm an ultimate damage build anyway. I'm an ultimate build, straight up, just, just ultimate scaling build is what I'm trying to go towards. And we'll try to get Overload XYZ. Uh, once again, Trash Talk idea. We're gonna see. Maybe just the region in itself is gonna be enough. I would like to get some Trash Talk going on. Trash Talk Ultimate something. Here we go. Trash Talk's doing scaling damage. Rushes, who cares? This is also who cares. Definitely go with Trash Talk damage. And now I can go maybe in the Trash Talk build. Now the Trash Talk build should theoretically be good against beating the dev. If I can find five or six times the thing that says gain 150 energy whenever you ultimate and then just find the thing that says when you ultimate you trash talk uh the build is a go i mean i need a lot of things to align of course but you never know uh four armor the ultimate trash talk done one of the pieces is falling in Frankly, if you know uh 50 coins on epic i mean this with this could combo but i don't have the money emergency gain a bunch of energy that's gonna definitely combo on the boss fights actually on all the fights Make things cheaper and not really. I would say we buy these two. Energy and energy. Energy low life is a definite yes. And energy is also a yes. So now I'm definitely going into the energy build. And with the perks at low life being more powerful, we're going to get a lot of energy when I'm at half life. And also we're going to get a lot of armor. And not only will I get a lot of armor, but let's not forget. Let's not forget. I got the bubble, right? So 16 armor low life means 160 less damage taken from ultimates low life. That was my first crash talk. And now I'm low life. I'm starting to gain energy, regen, shielding. Look at the opponent's ulti. Boom. Only 406 damage. I ulted again. And I ulted again. And I ulted again. And we won, actually. Look at this. We almost died low life, but we actually survived because low life is where it's at. Now this guy gives us armor, gives you strength. I'm gonna go, of course not. Please give me something better, like more choices. Uh, we found the rice ball. Energy regen and health regen. I told you something happens and you things just align when you get things. So now I'm just waiting for the gloves to appear. If they didn't already appear and skip them. Uh, trash talk gives you, I mean, emergency get 24 dodge, which isn't even 24 because I have 25 luck. It's going to make us immune to damage, but this is more damage that we do. What's more important? I think I'm already pretty defensive when I go low life anyway. Like 16 armor is really good. Uh, increasing the trash talk damage is just so much more important because I need to be doing damage somehow, and I have the low life 16 armor gaining, which is good enough in my book, plus the bunch of regen. We're, we're good, we're good. Rocks, no rush. Let's roll these away. 
Uh, energy region is a definite yes in my box. Let's continue. I saw the vampire. It is really enough for the vampire to actually be important there. But I think we are full on invested now. Full on energy build. Trash talk energy. I would like to get another one of those overload shoot the trash talk out. Which it's going to make us shoot two trash talks out. Exponential damage, energy region, just take it, just take it, let's go. The emergency thing might help. Okay, we found the get a stone and maybe get the ultimates can crit. Attack speed, oh, now we're gonna go with the get a stone and maybe ultimates can crit. <laughs> we're gonna literally build the the event on in us, on ourselves. Attack speed was irrelevant, it was also a bit irrelevant. Ultimate again, and ultimate again. I would like to also get ultimates heal you, but I'm not really sure if I want that because it's gonna bring us out of the uh, low life situation. Income is good. This is 160 coins. And I'm gonna get 160 coins, honestly. Let's just get 160 coins, be safe. I could have also gone... Yeah, I should have maybe gone with... When you shield, you freeze. No, that was when you freeze, you heal. No, no, no. When you shield, you freeze could be good, because that's gonna make opponents not attack us that much. Because at low life, I have a lot of shielding. Uh, now I'm gonna get the armor, I would say. Dodging gives you energy, combos with dodge. But no, we're gonna get this. This is 15 times 5. That's uh, 750 life right there slowly. Armor gain, nice. Ultimates give you ultimate damage. That's also nice. I would say ultimates give you ultimate damage is better than armor scaling. Although this is 15 armor. Which is a lot. But I think 16 armor is also a lot. I'm gonna just get the ultimate scaling. We're an ultimate build. Ultimate scaling is what we want. This guy just shoots you with a bunch of rocks, which is completely weak against us, because the moment he's, we start going low life, we're going to start blocking. And uh, he's going to give us a bunch of ultimate scaling here for free, by the way. I'm getting more and more ultimate damage from what he's doing. I'm just spamming ultimates. I also scale the trash talk while fighting. Of course, low life in general, we do have an issue. Uh, but it's okay, he's going to ult us one more time here. Nice, uh, we're good. By the way, low life, I gain more energy regen, I gain more attack speed, so we get flexes faster. Also, low life, I can block ultimates because I get armor. We're good, he's gone. Two more things, or less choices and more luck. <sighs> I would like to get this, honestly, but it's gonna destroy the build. I'm gonna get too luck. If I, could, if I, I first had the more choices, then I would have gotten it right now, but I don't have the more choices. I want to have choices. Attack speed in general, just max life. I'm gonna go max life. The more max life I have, the easier it is to maintain low life. And um, it's not like I want to be low life very fast. Honestly, I just want to have a lot of wiggle room at low life. Like if I have 10,000 life, my low life it's 5,000. That's good. Crit chance up or crit damage up. I'm going to go crit chance. That's 13 crit chance right there. Plus 25% luck. That's even more. Throw some boomers. And let's go. Let's not forget that I can still find the sword that gives us the crit chance on ultimates. So building up the crit chance before I even get the sword is good. And uh, heal based on your strength. When you send out a trash talk, you have a chance to send out a trash talk. We're definitely doing that. Let's see what we find. Crit chance or the burger. Uh, I mean, I already have the other one, so we're going to definitely go with the burger. Just like that. I don't get the vulnerable at all. It says three vulnerable. Look at this. Boom, it's gone. Because I have the ice, I already premeditated that. Although, I now no longer will be able to get that other thing there. But it's okay. I think uh, getting a bunch of max life and not dying is important. Once again, the more life we have, the more wiggle room we have at the... Um, what is this called? At the emergency status effect. Another crit chance. That's 11% crit chance right there. It's good. It's it's gonna help us. I mean, I need to get ultis can crit. Otherwise, it does. it's not good. Unless the trash talks can crit. 120 damage. 120 damage. I, I need to be looking at if the trash talks crit. Trash talk damage, please. Found it. Ask and you shall receive. Or trash talks shoot out trash talks. I think I'm going to go with the guaranteed scaling here instead of the chance to shoot another one. I think this is better. That's 50% damage boost exponentially. The other one is 20%. And now, what is this? Startup. Gain a maniac for three seconds. Yeah, whatever. Dodge, you can dodge all these. Uh, I would like to just reroll these. And I'm going to reroll these. Let's see what we find. Ninja Trash Talk. Red damage. Oh, I find both of these, but I don't have them. I do have the money exactly. Wow. So 3% health regen and some percent crit damage. Now we're going to do that by both of these. And boom, 3% health regen and 6% crit damage. Nice. And having percentage-based healing when you have 4,000 health is really good. This guy says on crits, make the opponent vulnerable and lose dodge. Irrelevant to us. Irrelevant. I'm outscaling him guaranteed. Uh, now, the issue is that he's not going to keep us at low life for a lot of time. Uh, but here I'm at low life. Boom. Now my armor kicks in. And now my energy regen kicks in. And there uh, we got him. Very nice. I would like to get one more of those 90 energy regen at low life. I don't care about his passive. 
I would like to get the sword here. That would help us. Ultimates can crit. Let's go. Didn't get the sword. Get a ninja or startup. Get all the startup relics firing. I don't really have a startup relic fire to fire. Yep. And I don't think I have anything else on startup. So I'm forced into a ninja. I always avoid the ninja, by the way, but I guess I got to force ninja on us. Very new. Ultimates heal us or trash talks shoot trash talks. Um, I would say ultimates give us 150 energy. This is the more of these you have, the crazier it becomes. And each next one is always better. Yeah, right now I'm getting 300 energy back every time I shoot out an ultimate. Which of course makes us do more and more damage. And they're gone. The turn percent chance to shoot out a trash talk when you shoot out a trash talk also obviously combos in itself, but yeah. For the energy region, just take. And let's go. Ultimate into an ultimate into an ultimate. Yeah, the opponent's hitting us, but now I have the shielding. And he's gone. And they're gone. 16 armor is enough for you to not just explode. Ultis heal you. I, I wanted it. I'm taking it. Although ultimates give you attack speed, it could also be good. Uh, for armor or ice, we're gonna go for armor. Safety first. At this point, opponents shouldn't even be able to get us to low life, which maybe is gonna reduce our damage at the final boss now that I'm thinking about this. Uh, no opponents just give us a big hit here. Yeah, the final boss is doing like percentage based damage. We're gonna definitely be low life. Max health or attack speed. I mean, I would reroll these. I don't really care about them that much. Uh, each maniac gives you more damage. Maniac duration increased by 20%. Okay, we're gonna go with each maniac gives you more damage. And if I find ultimates give you maniac, we're gonna take that. Maniac is 20%, 30% uh, more damage buff, and it stacks. So, uh, whenever you ultimate. So, I just made it be a 50% damage boost every time you ultimate. So, if I can get an ultimate right now. These are all very useless. We're gonna roll away. I don't think we're gonna need the rolls to redo a fight. Uh, trash talks, true touch, trash talks. Very nice. That's part of the build. The build at least is made. I found the sword. Uh, sword or energy regen? I would say sword, because ultimates can crit is actually good. I think. Otherwise, for the energy region is actually part of the build. I mean, do I care about all these critting, honestly? I mean, I do. How much damage do my ult do? 1,100. This is, and I do 260 crit damage. Um, I think I'm mainly a trash talk build, though. I'm going for the energy. Might sound extremely stupid. I know you might try. I mean, you. I, I, it's pretty much most people should disagree here. But I think I'm doing more damage with the trash talks than my ultimates. Um, we should be winning here, by the way. He is hitting into our low life status here. And now I'm slowly gaining more and more damage. And more damage. And now the trash talks do more and more and more. I mean, my ultimate is 2000 plus. There is no way my ultimates do more damage. And my cr trash talks do more than my ultimates. So that was definitely an overstatement. I made a mistake. Uh, I can't check right now. Make everything cheaper. With so much money, I would say yes. Let's go with make everything cheaper. So that the next shop, I literally am pretty much rich. And I can buy four or five things. Trash talk, shoot out trash talks. Yeah, I mean, ultimate damage is more than my trash talk damage, but I'm still investing into the trash talk damage idea. If I find one more time ultimate shoot out trash talks, that's when we do it, man. Overload trash talks, come on. Yeah, the trash talks are actually keeping up now. Nope, ultimates are still doing the thing. 400 coins. I guess 400 coins, and just like that, I can buy the whole shop next time we go shopping. I should have gone with ultimate crits, by the way. Ah, uh, we're dying. No, we're not. Oh, we almost died. We actually died. Wow. So was this the turn where I got the money? Okay, at least I can avoid the money. Let's go with attack speed. Which attack speed is going to give us healing and ice. So it should make a difference. And it's a panic one. So we are a panic road. So this is 80% attack speed right now. And he's gone. And we survived, of course. I have 306 healing, by the way. Better, better ultimates do more damage. I mean, I guess ultimates do more damage. Although that's 30%, it's not going to be that much. This is new. Three cards land in front of you. Which one do you pick? This is literally new. Low cost, weak cards that fill the void. I always choose this, by the way. High cost, powerful creature card. A card that steals enemy cards to use. This is... Um... Okay, so this is two sharks. This is... Uh... What's slow and attack slowly? I don't remember which one that would be. I guess a stone. And this is definitely a ninja. Uh, I'm gonna go ninja. 64 coins, what? Okay. <laughs> Works for me, I mean, I have the credit card, so. Ultimates. The fact that ultimates heal us. Can I get the low life we gain energy regen? That's the most important one to get. Or, or, or ultimates do a trash talk. Those are the choices. Don't, trash talk, shoot trash talks, whatever, man. 
Trash talks, shoot trash talks, and here we're exploding. Ultimate healers, ultimate healers, ultimate healers. Six second mark healer. We survived. Let's go. My main damage is ultimates. I don't know what I was thinking, man. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, let's get ultimates, give us attack speed so we heal even more. Okay, obviously we're gonna buy everything. Uh, buy everything, I mean two things. Uh, crit chance and armor, I would say, and luck. Crit chance and luck, crit chance and luck. I guess an armor. Let's go and see how this can go against Gaven. I want to do exponential scale trash talks. Never was able to. I don't think we're gonna die survive. We died. We died. Man, we died. Um, okay, let's try this again. So first of all, we choose one earlier stage. So let's roll these. So the shop rerolls. Now here I'm gonna go with the four armor. And now the shop's gonna be... Ultimate Bordage, more max life. Uh, Overclock Maniac. That's exactly what I wanted. Overclock Maniac. 700 more max life. Ultimates do even more damage, I guess. And let's try our best. Let's try our best. By the way, ultimates critting would not have saved us here. We just need more survivability. Armor kicks in. Uh, no, we can't beat him. Wow. Wow. I have 324 healing and I can't beat him. I, you need armor in this game, man. This is not usable. Ice is also not usable. Uh, maybe crits for more damage. That's not gonna do a difference, man. I still need the defense. And then here, once again, Maniac for the damage. Is this worse? Attack speed and lose a bit of luck. That's gonna reduce our crit chance, but I don't really care about my crit chance that much. It's also not good for the ultimates. He doesn't have spikes, so might as well go for stone. Is that gonna make a difference? I think it's not gonna make a difference. Maybe what I steal makes a difference, but I don't think it actually does. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. No, no, this is not really beatable. Yep, we lost twice. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna just go ahead and say what I already said. I don't enjoy this character. I really hate the priest. I don't think he's a nice... Not nice. Nice is irrelevant here. I don't think he's a fun character. Luck is gonna give us crit chance. Armor is forced. Maybe with ice, if opponents attack less. And armor to not attack, get hit that much. I think getting do dodge is almost a must. 66 luck is better than 5% crit chance. Yep, that gives, brings us up to 45% crit chance. Crits, or ulti's critting, would would it make a difference? Maybe ulti's critting would have made a difference. Can I even see how much damage I do with my ultimates? Nah, I don't think I have enough energy regen. Like, I, I'm not ulting fast enough. I, I, at the end of the day, I needed the um, overload healing thing. I needed so many things. Ultimates were doing most damage. Yeah, I know, trash talk was not really the good play. It is what it is. I tried my best, I guess. Mm, agree, disagree. I would like to get some comments on your opinions on this character in general and um yeah the build he has i don't know i this is my least like character this guy we go rush build we rush opponents down i like it. this very unique money this very unique get characters this just a patch podge i like the idea of trash talk scaling but the thing is it's that it's not built in the trash talk so you have to get a lot of things to align and you still will die the healing build i have fun with with on this guy very unique character i love him uh, well, I really like this character with uh, infinite energy. I also don't really like Mystic Wheeler because you have to do a lot of things, but I do realize that he's one of the most broken characters for Endless. Do you want me to do a high score build with this guy, by the way? That is something I could do tomorrow. I could try to do an infinite combo, mombo, destroy everything, madness build with this guy for the very final boss. That could be a thing we could do. This guy I obviously love because he has the extremely unique mechanic of close combat and poison. Both both mechanics I really enjoy. And the stun belt. So many things. Hopefully cards are going to appear top right. And this guy is my most like character, obviously. That is also visible by the stars because the evolution mechanic I'm in love with. Uh, otherwise, we're going to most likely play modded characters. Now, some people don't enjoy modded characters. Some do. And once again, I'm going to shout out and say... that if you have a good idea about mods, that's the thing with modding. If you think you have a good idea with mods... Definitely, right now I don't have them installed. Definitely create an insane mod and maybe make it balanced and whatnot. Right now the mods are very simple, very boring. Like they have like 10 different upgrades or whatnot. I want the mod with like 30 different perks. They're extremely unique character. It doesn't matter if it's broken or not. Just make the game extremely unique. Um, I mean, people don't enjoy broken stuff. They do want a bit. I mean, people. I'm saying people as if it counts everybody. I enjoy broken stuff. I love broken stuff. Um, because I enjoy just playing games and having fun. So, um, yeah, maybe some mods are going to be broken, some mods are going to be easy, or maybe somebody's just going to create a bunch of characters and it's going to be, like, easy, hard, whatever. You know what? A mod would be awesome. Smash Bros mod. That would be awesome. And then you can find 
all characters have the three B buttons. For example, you create the link. You have a boomerang build, you have a whirlwind build, and you have a bomb build, you know? And then you create um, another character on Smash Bros. I guess uh, Samus. I don't know. I mean, these are not Smash Bros. characters. But, you know, uh, Mario, you got the cape build, which is something like uh, every time you dodge, you do something to the opponent. You got the fireball build, which would be some kind of new poison that burns the opponent. And then you got the... I don't know. And then all of these characters in that mod can also have a relic, the legendary relic, which is the divine ultimate. Uh, and whenever you break it, you just do some kind of insane thing. I don't know, man. They could do so many things. And if you think about it, you can do about it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see, oh, by the way, there is a unique uh, different thing here. What is this referencing to? Does anybody know what this is a reference to? There is, um, there is this uh, thing you can switch. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.